day is nice. Get out there. Enjoy the sun. What better way to go into the weekend than to hone your parenting skills mm. just a little more? Add to your, I don't speak French, but repertoire. Add to your that was, repertoire. That was pretty good. Thank you. Did I say that right, Trish? I don't know. <laughs> I never took a French class. <laughs> it's the voice of Trish Lightfoot, so it's time for Triple P with Trish. Brought to you by Triple P of Elkhart County. You can find out more, as always, at Triple P, uh, Triple P elkhartcounty.org. Mm-hmm. Good morning. How are you doing, Trish? Good morning. I'm doing really well. Thanks. How you, are you guys? We are doing, We're doing great. great. We see Good. you brought uh, you brought your co-conspirator back with you, I Colleen. Did Miss Colleen <laughs> Spano yes. is back this week? We loved hearing, uh, and I know we'll do that again in a moment. We loved hearing about Triple P's work and Colleen's work with children with special needs, mm-hmm. and just really, really touching uh, and and encouraging and inspiring, and we hope helpful to any number of people listening right now. That's next, but first... We have our weekly winner. All right. Winner. We got a winner this week. So, Holly Case, congratulations. Congratulations, Yay! Holly Case. You have won a gift card. <laughs> and Colleen's here this week to help us promote the Stepping Stone seminars that are going to be kicking off this year at Prairie View Elementary School in Goshen. Okay. And those are going to start September 11th. It's a right. Tuesday. Coming it's up soon. free. There, child no care cost. Provided. Child care is provided. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. That's better than free. That's like double free when, when free child care is provided. Are there snacks? Are you and, snacks. Snacks? And, we're, and we're having snacks. Whoa, triple free. <laughs> this is a triple free event. <laughs> so, yeah. Very so, I'm cool. going to turn the mic over to Colleen, and she's going to share with you some tips okay. and other things that she's gathered from the community of parents who have children who's been diagnosed with a disability. Thank Fantastic. you, Trish. All right, Colleen, stepping stones. Good morning. In September. As Colleen steps up to the microphone. <laughs> stepping stones to the microphone. Uh, <laughs> so what I what I did for this week is I took the topic of our third seminar called um, Changing Problem Behavior into Positive Behavior. And I kind of put it out in Facebook land and asked some parents, what are some of the challenges that they are really concerned with and, and that they're facing right now with their children? And um, one of the one of the top ones was transitions. So transitioning from one task to another is very, very difficult, oftentimes for children with disabilities. Um, It's it's just that random, you know, they're they're engaged in something. They're doing something they really enjoy. And here we come, these grownups telling them that they have to stop this thing that they like to go do something that's maybe not as enjoyable. Mm -hmm. And it just kind of throws them off. And so parents are kind of like, so what do we do about Mm -hmm. that? Yeah, they kind of get tracked in. Exactly. And so one of the one of the easiest things that you can do for um, preparing a child for transitions is to create a picture schedule. And so what you do is either get little drawings or I prefer photographs of different things that they might be doing throughout their day. And um, you put it on a on a on a wall or on a poster. And as each task is completed, they take it down and they can watch their day progress. So let's say they're doing puzzles. They get up, they have breakfast, they do puzzles. So they're doing puzzles and the next thing might be to stop and do lunch. So they can see that, okay, puzzles comes to an end, then lunch, then maybe rest, and then puzzles again. So it's not that you're taking it away and it's going to be gone forever. They get to come back to it sometime. And um, just being able to see what their day is going to look yeah. like helps them mentally prepare. So visual representation. Visual representation. Doesn't have to be fancy, I'm guessing. It could be no. simple, cute. I love photographs because okay. it's their environment. It's very relatable then to them. And and I guess there's probably no one way to do it, but you no. could lay them out like on a little piece of paper or put it on the wall or just hold mm-hmm. it up for them to see. A lot of times what, what families will do is have it in some sort of, I mean, as, as a teacher, I, I encourage it to, you have it, you start from left and, and the day progresses to the right. So it teaches pre-reading skills as well. Yes. So they're moving left to right yeah. to follow, track their English day. That's how English works. We go left to right. Yes, yep. yes. And so um, so you just have it in kind of a line of their day. And as, like I said, as each thing, as each activity happens, then they can peel it off and see, okay, now this so, is what we're working on. And then this and then this. I could, a great and, idea. And talking ahead, I could see too, even before... Their favorite activity or one of their f- fun activities, talking about what's next. Mm-hmm, absolutely. What we do after this. You yep. say, yeah, you might not like this thing, but look what comes next. You get to, That's so you know, cool. if we just That's get so through cool. this, then you can have, you know, your treat or you can have your puzzles back or, you yeah. know, whatever it yeah. might be. Everybody Very needs cool. to consult 
the instructions at some point. Right. I keep I mean, a calendar. I keep a list. I'm a guy. I'm not yeah. going to pretend that I've ever read, read the instructions. But, you know, occasionally <laughs> I need to look at the book and, you know, what, when I'm putting together the bicycle, what is this thing? Okay, now I can go back sure. to not looking at it. Sure. <laughs> I think I've, I've only been a dad for a few years. I think I've stumbled into a, a simplistic aspect of that where when Luke is very sad like like uh, last night, he was very sad that we weren't going to play more hide and seek, and that it was time to go up, get up, go up and get ready for, and take his bath. Transition time. Mm-hmm. And in my mind, because I've got all this context and framework, and I'm thinking it's all fun. Getting a bath is fun. You know, you know, the just like this is fun. But in his mind, it's just like, oh, I don't want to stop this. And so I, so what I'll say is, Lukey, and I even introduced some marketing. Mentality. <laughs> the word new. We all know the word new is kind of like the word free. I would I've say, Lukey, if we, don't you want to play the new bath game that I found? And then his face lights up and he's focused on that. Mm-hmm. And then as we're walking up the stairs, I have to come up with a new bath game. <laughs> but it, but he's young enough that little simple things work. Do you also sure. offer him free shipping if he responds <laughs> right away? If he orders at least $50 <laughs> worth of merchandise. <laughs> yes. Yeah, but, so how cool to use visual pictures and representations yeah. Um, that's so beautiful. Uh, where can, where can people find out more? Again, we want, we, we love the tips we know, and we've heard from people that Cody and I aren't the only ones who look forward to these tips, but we, we want people to know triple P is an ongoing resource. There, there is stuff online, there's stuff at uh, events. Can we talk about the event again, this first stepping stones event? September. Sure. It starts on September 11th, yeah. and and that's a Tuesday, and then it's three consecutive Tuesdays. So it's the the 11th, the 18th, and the 25th and of I, September. I'm guessing people could come to one or all. Obviously, all would be. It's yeah. Great, it's encouraged but... because it does build okay. from one to the next. Okay, um, it's completely free. It's completely free. Free childcare provided. Free snacks, snacks and um, free parking. Like yeah, it's it's, it's quadruple free, right? And if you can't make it to this one, contact Triple P. Um, we're always open to organizing uh, one that might be closer to you. Okay. Oh, the yeah. first Good the, idea. The first event on September 11, coming up here in uh, well 11 days. It's the last day of August. Is at Prairie View Elementary School in Goshen, kind of the south side of Goshen, mm-hmm. and uh, you can find out more at Triple P Elkhart County Everyone is welcome. Come and even bring your kids. Yes. Thank you, Colleen, for what you do. Any other Thank thoughts? You. We've really enjoyed having you as a guest host on Triple P with Trish the last couple of Friday mornings and getting to know you a little bit and your heart for kids with special needs. Any other, any other, Anything else on your mind or heart? Well, I know, Colleen, you would probably enjoy to get some more interaction along with Trisha, either on Facebook or emails or on your website. We need um, more winners. Yeah, because that's how you win, that's by how, asking questions that's and getting involved the case in the show. This morning. Yes. So if you'd like to be a winner, make sure you're hooking up in some fashion and being a part of the conversation with Triple P in Elkhart County with Colleen and Trisha. I want to say, too, Holly Case won this morning. Holly Case won a $50 Perkins Restaurant gift certificate. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and you can too. So as Cody said, go and submit a question. Um, and the best place to do that, Trish? Is triple P Elkhart County dot org. And go ahead and in, email us at info triple P Elkhart County or find us on Facebook. But I'm going to put it out there for okay. this week, though. If you go to Colleen's seminars and you heard this on the radio, let Colleen know and we'll put your name in a bucket and we'll Ooh. just draw oh, out of there, cool. all right? Yeah, easier. It's a five times win now. We're getting more <laughs> wins on the event. <laughs> Colleen Spano, thank you so much. Trish Lightfoot, thank you, ladies. Thank you, guys. Go thank to, you. Find out more at triplepelkartcounty.org. Elkhart County.org.